Yay! I can see Simon's room. It's not a live stream. You do not want to see this. It's an absolute mess. So there you go. That's much better for me. Right. Now, your brain is probably processing a question which is going, why is this not a live stream? Why is Simon back filming videos? The reason is I'm not fully back filming videos. This is an exception because tomorrow, the day I'm filming this the day before, tomorrow, tomorrow, me and my school are going on a school trip. It's a one day trip. I'll be back on Saturday and from Saturday, AKA Mourinho's press conference, there will be a live stream. But our predicted 11 for Empoli on Sunday and our match reaction for Zoya Luhansk in the Europa Conference League will be videos because I am not in Rome. So don't you worry, live streams will be back. It's just an exception. But today, if you haven't already guessed, if you haven't managed to read today's title, me and Alex are going to say, me and Alex are going to say our predicted starting 11 for Empoli. Now, just bear in mind that this is being filmed before Zoya Luhansk because of the many matches. Me and Alex can't keep the speed, you know. We've got schoolwork and Alex has got, you know, his job to think about. So there might be injuries and there might be great performances and Mourinho might play these great performances against Empoli. But we have seen a trend of Mourinho starting the same top 11 players in this Serie A, so I don't really expect many changes. Without further ado, if you're new here, please subscribe. You cannot find a better channel other than The Simon Show if you want an opportunity to follow AS Roma or Jose Mourinho as an English language. So if you're new here, please smash the subscribe button, like this video. Let's get 40 likes by the end of this video. It would be absolutely amazing. And without further ado, let's get onto our predicted 11. Now, in goal, Rui Patricio. He saved us many times and I keep saying this. You might be on Sam, you're so boring, you say the same exact thing. It's the reality. If it wasn't for Rui Patricio for many matches, Roma would have lost points. And now they would probably not be in a top four position. So thanks to Rui Patricio, we are currently in a top four position. Now, Rui Patricio, he, there, there are, you know, there are reasons of why Rui Patricio could have done a teeny tiny bit better against Lazio, but it's not his fault. Rui Patricio will start, no further explanation. The four defenders, in my opinion, will be the two centre-backs. Let's start with the two centre-backs. Now, I think Mancini and Ibanez will play. They are the Serie A defenders, right? Um, you know, Alex thinks Smalling should go. I've got some subscribers um, who think Smalling should go. And Mourinho gave us the impression that Smalling is great, in my opinion. He brings the experience in defence. But he is the Europa Conference League and the Coppa Italia defender. In this area, the two lads are Mancini and Ibanez, who need a great match against Empoli. Because against Lazio, Mancini especially was shit. They need a reaction against Empoli. In fact, if they don't concede against Zoya and Empoli, Roma would prepare the best way possible for the part of the season also known as hell. Juventus, Napoli and Milan consecutively. So... That, in my opinion, is the best way to prepare for those matches is not to concede. And Mancini and Ibanez need to turn up against Empoli and do not concede. So them two will be my two centre-backs. My right-back is interesting because Mourinho did not give a call to Korsdop for the match against the Europa Conference League. This might suggest that he has a slight injury. And if Brian Reynolds plays well against Zoya Luhansk, I would expect Reynolds to play and, you know, Mourinho would give one match to reassess for Korsdorp and then they, he's got a full week um, to reassess because of the international duties. However, that's not the case. I think Korsdorp is not really that injured. I think in Mourinho's press conference against Zoria, he would have talked about uh, Korsdorp injury more if it would be a serious injury. So I think Korsdorp will be ready and he will start. And I think... On the left-hand side, we will have Vina, but listen to this. If Vina doesn't perform well against Zoria Luhansk, do expect Calafuri to start. Because Calafuri against that match against Udinese was elite. Maybe not defense-wise, but attack-wise he was. And as, as long as he provides the assist, he can even not defend for me. So, 
I think Vina will start because, you know, we've seen Mourinho choosing Vina over Calafiore many times because of the experience. But if Vina plays an atrocious match against Zoria Luhansk, do expect Calafiore to start. Now, moving on to my two defensive midfielders, once again, the bracket Veritu is the same bracket as Korstop. Mourinho did not give a call to Veritu for the match against Zoria Luhansk. However, I don't think it's an injury. For the main reason being, I can't recall an injury very to add. And second of all, if it was a serious injury, Mourinho would have talked about it in his press conference for the Europa Conference League. So I do think Veritu will be back and has to be back because to be fair, if Roma shit in defense and Veritu does not play in the defensive midfield section, woo -hoo -hoo, there'll be nightmares. Nightmares are going to come. So Veritu needs to start. And then I think Cristante will start because I think, in my opinion, uh, as I said, he, he will rest against Zoya Luhansk. Uh, and therefore he's back for this match. And once again, we've seen Mourinho saying in many press conferences, yes, I am starting the same top 11 players in the Serie A matches, but it's because these players, which are the top players, need to find a rhythm. And I do, and you guys need to expect them starting many matches. And that's exactly what Mourinho said. That's why I think Veritu and Cristante will play. To be fair, they are the two most experienced. Cristante was appalling against Lazio. He is so slow, my grandmother can move the ball quicker than Cristante. If Davara plays well against Zoria Luhansk, do expect him to start next to Veritu. They've got that French bond, which, you know, Veritu and Cristante don't have. However, I do think Cristante will start because I, I do think Mourinho likes Cristante. In fact, Mourinho said in his press conference that he wants Cristante to renew his contract as well as Pellegrini. That just means that he likes Cristante. And I think Cristante and the Veritu will be the two defensive midfielders. Moving on to the three attacking midfielders, I do think Zaniolo will rest against Zoria, therefore he will play um, against Empoli. He had an incredible performance against Lazio, he needs to repeat that. And if more of these, you know, good performances will come, he is a talent and he can be the main factor of Roma wins. So Zaniolo will start, Pellegrini will start, he missed the last Serie A match against Lazio and we've seen that. If Pellegrini was playing, that match would probably end in 3-3. So, I do think Pellegrini will start. He started the best way possible this, this start of the season. Got goals, got assists. Goals galore and assist galore for Pellegrini. I do, and we have to expect Pellegrini to start. You know, it's the Serie A. It's important. They need to bounce back after the defeat against Lazio to prepare the best way possible for the tough matches. Zaniolo, Pellegrini and Mkhitaryan for me. It's the top three. In fact, Remember this, Mkhitaryan will score against Empoli and bag his second goal in this area. Listen to this and pay attention. So that will be the case. And the striker, in my opinion, will be Tammy Boy. He'll rest against Zoya, he'll be back for Empoli and needs a great performance to, you know, to make the fans forget about the performance against Lazio. He needs to get back scoring once again for many reasons. To keep the rhythm of, of these top clubs like Napoli, AC Milan, which are top class in this area. To stay and maintain in a Champions League spot and to bounce back after the derby. Abraham needs to score. I think Abraham and Mikel Tyrant will score. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Simon Show. It's Alex once again and this is your match prediction for AS Roma versus Empoli. Well, coming after a solid 3-0 win uh, versus Zoya Luhansk, I believe we're going to have a full squad on Sunday. Uh, it's going to be, I believe, an early game as well on Sunday out here in the US. So here goes my life prediction or my 11 uh, starters uh, match prediction. Uh, I'm really happy we won anyway in the last game. So, Rui Patricio in goal. Uh, it's going to be uh, cars up. We would be seeing Ibanez. Uh, and obviously, we would likely see... No, no. Scratch it out. So, the four defenders will be cars up. I'm going to go for Mancini and Smalling. And I'll go for Vinia. Yes, again, you heard it right. Karsdok, Mancini, Smalling, and Vinia. The reason I'm going for Smalling is because he scored a goal in the Zoya game. And yeah, I know I've been hard on Smalling. I'm going to give him a benefit of doubt. Uh, I think he's been able to redeem himself with that goal. And uh, there was a very good uh, tracking back I saw him do. Uh, lots of, you know, 
clearances with the head. So I think that's really good. Uh, and in the midfield, I think it would be fair to rest Cristante and bring in uh, Daboy and Veretout. So I would love to see Daboy because he played really good uh, in the Zoya Luhansk match. So Daboy and Veretout at the middle. Uh, and obviously, I would love to say starting up uh, Zaniolo, Pellegrini, and El Shirawe. Yes, I'm calling it El Shirawe. Mkhitaryan can come in in the second half to redeem himself. He needs to score a goal. We can be benching El Shirawe, who is making all these great moves and impacts, and Mkhitaryan, who is not really doing much. And starting up is going to be uh, Tammy Abraham, uh, who scored a goal in the last game as well. So, just a recap. It's going to be Rui Patricio. Uh, there we go. All right. Back again. Uh, as a recap, it's going to be Rui Patricio in goal. We're going to have Karsd up. Uh, we're going to have uh, Mancini, Smalling, Vinia. Central uh, midfield and defensive midfield, we will be having Daboy and Veritaut. And the three attackers up front would be Zaniolo, Pellegrini, and El Sharawe. And top front number nine, striker position, would be Tammy Abraham. Yes, that is my predicted 11 for the AS Roma game versus Empoli. Uh, I'm also predicting that we are playing at home, so therefore we will be winning that game. But about three goals to one. I, I keep saying we, we're going to concede a goal. But I hope we don't. But I, I rather expect it than say it's going to be a clean sheet and we we you know we end up considering. So yeah, one goal you know, but three goals. Uh, Zaniolo impressed when he came in as a sub in the last game. Uh, so I believe uh, it's going to be Tammy Abraham scoring again. Uh, I think El Sharawi would score again. Uh, it, it's going to be uh, more of a muzzled up team. So. That is my 11 uh, starter match prediction. Uh, and I think coming up will be, uh, you know, from the bench will be, El, you know, uh, I keep calling him El Shomorodov. No, he's Shomorodov, the Uzbekistan dynamite. He would come in from the bench. Uh, and I believe we'll be having a good win on Sunday. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please do not forget to hit that subscriber button. And let's get this up to, uh, you know, the 5,000 Mac. All right out there, ladies and gentlemen, have a good one. Deja Roma, Forza Roma. Remember that. Right, lads and lasses, this was my predicted 11, starting 11 for the match on Sunday against Empoli. Uh, on Saturday, there will be Mourinho's press conference slash analysis slash reaction uh, for Empoli. So the live streams will be back, do not worry. And then on Sunday, it's the watch long day. So stay tuned, set reminder on your calendars. And yeah, lads, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Also like this video. And if you have time, follow me on Instagram, I'll lower score the Simon Show. And yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Simon.